Matt Benoit here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to Google. So I'm going to start off with if you want to find an exact phrase, you would use quotation marks to search for something. Say you want to look up monarch butterfly. Type in that in quotations and it would come up with only monarch butterflies. So you can see in the images, it's only the monarch butterflies and no other things. And you're going to want to make sure you use all of these tabs because they're all very useful. You can look at more, find maps, books, flights to monarch butterflies. Another thing I'm going to be showing you is how to find similar words. So say you wanted to look up store, you would use tilde store and search and it would just come up with things that are related and similar to stores. It's also useful if you're looking for multiple things to use the or phrase. So say you want to look up stocks, stocks, or bonds, make sure you capitalize the or. And then when you search it, it will contain one term or another. And then without the or, the search would only contain results that use both words. So you can see it has like both of them or or and it's like separately so if you want to search results that contain one term or another use the or phrase so you want to look up a range of prices for something you could type in ten dollars and you use the two periods and then that denotes a range, meaning that any numbers between $10 and $50 for books. And then when you search that, it will come up and it will only show books between $10 and $50. If you look at the prices, you can see that they're all between $10 and $50. None of them are more than $50 or less than $10. A very useful one for school is using the PDF function. So say you wanted to find the book Tom Sawyer and you wanted to find it as a PDF so you could import a notability and write on it. You do dot PDF and when you search it, it will come up with only PDF files. You can see these are all PDFs. And one final thing, just wanted to let you know that punctuation is almost always ignored in searches with the exception of the plus sign, the at sign, the and sign, the percent sign, the money sign, and the hashtag. All of the, all punctuation ignored except for the ones I just showed you. And that is How to Google by Matt Benoit. Have a good day.